Hey there, fellers. Voyager, you asked for a different intro. There you go. Uh, we're looking at a base. It's We're going to do a fail and clean video on this. Both shattered Goho attacks. Um, and we're going to take a look at why attacks fail. And the main things are not getting to the center. And by that, I mean whether your wall breakers get shot down before you get the first layer of wall down, or you just don't funnel properly, you don't protect your golems long enough so they get crushed by the CC, and generally the troops just don't make it to the center and tank the defenses. If you do that, your hogs can run free. Um, and I've proved that many times by only using two heal spells, because I'm doing such a good job tanking in the center, or one heal spell just drops in the grass, so I only get two. Um, but we're going to take a look at this base here, and we'll see why it failed, and how to get three stars. So you see the CC is pretty deep inside the walls. Of course, we want to take a look at the base, the possible trap locations, how to get the queen, how to get the CC, and protect your troops to get to the core. Uh, the only open spots inside the core are this giant ring. So you have to assume there are probably Teslas and bombs there. If not, there might be bomb here. There's nothing here, so I'm assuming there's probably nothing there. And that, probably a Tesla could be a bomb. So I'm guessing there's going to be bombs in here. Um, whatever the case may be. You'll have to find out as you go along, but you got to assume best case scenario. And so to get to the queen, she's a pretty easy to get to sitting on the outside walls, and you can jump directly in the court, and that's what you want to do. But you're going to pull that CC super late, so you have to have a plan for that. Let's go ahead and watch the fail. We'll blast through that real quick, and we'll watch how we cleaned it up a little bit. So what we're going to see on this first replay here is he's going to jam in both of his golems up here. I know that's to protect it so it doesn't get hit by the queen. Um, but what it's going to do is he's only going to be able to clear out this small area before his golems walk around, places the jump over here, the CC is going to pull, and this whole area of buildings is not cleaned out. So his troops focus on still clearing the junk ring before they kill the CC and the queen, which just makes it go awry and basically the golems get smashed he doesn't get his troops in the core and his hogs end up setting off a bunch of traps and it spreads out the defense if you look at this base how spread out it is if you're going to do a hog lay after that so if you clear out this se section and then come in here and start doing your hog lay going around as they come through here they're going to pick up that king and they're going to have to jump all the way up here to get that cannon and filter around. So they're traveling a long distance. And their three heels will only cover something like that. So this whole time they're going to be without spells. And it just leads to disaster. You want the least amount of room traveled um, to do your damage in here. So what we see is the golems come in. And he starts just clearing that little section right there. Which is golems are taking fire, they're taking splash fire because they're balled up, but they're also taking that firewall as troops clear out both sides. Now also, his troops went ahead and set off a Tesla. So you know one Tesla's outside, probably the next one's going to be outside. So there's going to be bombs in the middle. Um, his troops come over here and you'll see they do focus on the queen, but they also have to clear out this area, this area. The CC's pulling on the golems in the meantime. Throws down the spell to where the loons are going to travel. Kind of misses the drag there, and he comes in with his hogs. So that's good. His hogs are coming down. But one thing is, what I talked about, he didn't clear out all this area. So after his troops clear out this, his golems are sitting here. They're tanking. Most all his wizards has died. He still has four wizards left. Should have used two more, backing up his heroes for power. Like I said, I usually only leave two wizzes for cleanup. His queen turns left and starts clearing out this area. So now she's not in here clearing it out. And his golems, where that jump is placed... It prevents his golems from taking out this, taking out that, and they're going to travel along this defense line. They also have no power following them, so they're going to get held up right there. As they're held up, his hogs are all the way down here, starting their run. 
Knight places the heal to where his hogs... Oh, they set off a bomb. That's all right. They're under heal, but they're coming up on that whiz tower, and he's healing those two groups of hogs. Brings in his next giant and goes straight for that archer tower. Throws down his next heal, but his hogs are... Eh, that's... Pretty good heal location. Hogs are coming in on both sides, so he collects a pack together and heals them while they're in a pack. That's not bad. The one bad thing is, though, you never picked up the king on this. Um, your golems are still dying off. Your heroes have died off because the queen went outside and she didn't have any tanks protecting her over there. Golems are in here not doing much damage to so the king, the teslas, and everything's focusing on your pack of hogs there. Comes up top with his last group of hogs and giant. Throws that heal, which is great because he did set off a bomb. The hogs get picked off up top. There wasn't that many with one, one giant to pick off all those. And you still got two Teslas left. You got a king following you around like crazy. This is one bad thing of the uh, supercell glitch. He's out of his radius and he's still following the hogs. But you see that sometimes. So now his hogs come down to grab that last Tesla. Well, what do you know? They hit. Ouch. There they go. They're all gone. So never got the troops in the center. Um, due to just funneling. And, and that's what killed this attack. Ends up with a one star. So let's watch how a different idea works. So obviously same base. Uh, my idea of attack is to throw a golem here and here. I'll be outside the queen radius, and basically you can cut a funnel, block it off here, and just kill that building there. While your golem's here, you can shoot down that cannon and throw some extra wizards and probably take out a couple of those defenses too while they're shooting the golem and you're cleaning. Then, if you place your jump over here or over the queen in the wall, your troops will only go in this section. Your heroes will be forced in here because... There's big walls, you know, basically those are your funnel lines. So if you think about it, and these are your funnel lines, your golems will be tanking all the defenses, and your heroes will have nowhere to go. Your power troops will go inside. You can jump in there, and what you want to tank is Teslas and set off traps. So doing this motion will do that, and if I'm lucky, I'll get the queen, and the king is so close, I'll get him too. And that takes care of all the problems. So we'll watch how good that works out. And you can see the definite defense or difference in the fires. So I set up the golem. You can see I automatically shoot that cannon. I want to take away their DPS versus mine. I didn't set the left golem in far enough. So I throw that jump in as soon as I know my, my funnels are set. You can see already what's happening is I put a lot of wizards over here in this golem. I know he's going to collect this splash defense, and these wizards are going to go to town smoking these. This golem's going in. My original golem's going in. He's being shot, but look at all this power I have following it. Nothing's going around. Nothing's trailing outside. All my power is staying straight behind my tanks and getting interior to the base. So as my hero smoke his queen, clean up those defense, my poison comes down, my power troops, my wizards come in, I throw an extra whiz behind for safekeeping, I still got like 8 whizzes there, my full health king, my full health queen, my king's going over and punching down his king, there's a bonus, I still got a full health golem. My troops turned down. That poison worked on the loon. What do you know? I still got golems and wizards. And they're blowing up traps. Taking it down. In comes my giant. In comes my hogs in separate formation. In comes my next giant. And in comes my hogs on every single defense. So I'm not just focusing on one defense. You can see I set a giant. And I put hogs on that defense. That popped up. So I put hogs there. I brought in hogs from the side. I brought in hogs from the side there, hogs on the side there, and hogs on the side there. So they're focusing on every separate defense instead of balling up on one. Bring down that first heal. My hogs hit a bomb. In comes my next heal. In comes my giants and hogs. 
My hogs are fully healed, packed up. I got one left over. Bring it to the side. I should have had a few more left over. I probably miscalculated on my punch. But I bring my cleanup troops on the back. I still got the queen in there doing damage. And there's just two point defenses left with my entire pack of hogs there. One defense left. It's down. Look at how many hogs are left alive. That's the difference there. You get your troops inside. You take care of those defenses. You take care of the traps. Start tanking. Easy cleanup. So I hope that makes sense a little more. Um, you know, I didn't do the best job in protecting this golem. When I set my first golem and set him here, I meant to set him there. But when he sat there and I noticed the queen was attacking him, what did I do? I cut that funnel real quick and brought in my troops instantly to take that queen out. So be fluid, be proactive, and you'll get it done. See you guys next time.